All right, we're back. Some Risk of Rain. I'm gonna go Merc. I'm gonna be playing solo this time. Oh, cool. Uh, so if you notice, I've got some, um, I got some mods. Money is kept between stages. Money is converted upon, huh. I'm gonna mess around with some things. Stages are in a random order. Start with 50 gold. Okay. Eh, this'll be fun. See, what can I turn off? What are items that I don't like? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna mess around with things. I'm gonna turn off this. I don't really like the... the vultures. I don't know if I care about any of these. The money being kept means it doesn't turn into EXP. EXP arguably is pretty valuable. I... We're gonna science it anyway, and see how this goes, because it could it could go really poorly, could go really well, who knows? Uh, let's see, what is an item that I don't need? I'm gonna get rid of that. I got like 10 of them yesterday, and it just felt so, so unsatisfying. I'll probably leave the rest. Is there anything else that I don't care for? Medkit. Let's turn medkits off. Alright, that's probably good. We're just gonna play a normal difficulty. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I might rule out some more items. I might not. Uh, but mainly I just want to kind of mess around with, uh, mods and see how it goes. Oh, right. Uh, Omni I, I have a mod for Omnidirectional Sprinting, which is going to be obscenely helpful on a couple of characters. Namely, it's going to be absurdly good on... Uh, it's going to be absurdly good on... There we go. On the Huntress. Maybe some other characters? Yeah, part of the other reason why I'm starting solo is I'm not actually sure if you can do multiplayer with this. I'll, uh, I'll put my mod pack up somewhere. How do we do... It's R. There we go. Okay. R to do those. I'm just gonna get the turret. It'll be extra income right now. While we wait. Let's see, did I get the mod where open chests disappear? Yes! I- I believe I did. I- I believe that's, uh, that's one of the mods that I've got running right now. Because I figured it'd be helpful. But yeah, so I've never played Merc before. I'm kind of interested in seeing how he goes. I'm assuming that he's gonna be kind of dan dangerous to roll with. The extra life regen is going to be incredibly helpful. Uh, turrets are not good later game. But, this is my my first level actually, which makes them pretty decent. It'll just kind of sit around shooting things for me. And honestly, I'm going to have plenty of money, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, truly, this is just a... This is an exercise in, what can I do with mo the mods that are currently there? There's not that many. And yeah, I don't, I don't really need tips on how to play this character. I've, I've played him plenty in one. It, build maybe might be an issue, but I, I'll figure it out. Let me, let me play, guys. I know enough about what I'm doing vaguely uh, to get by without too much basic information here. Oh. I, oh right, we do start with a double jump as this guy. I forgot about that. Okay, what do we get? Eh. I'll let him go for a bit. If I could get a bunch of fuel cells, they'd become real fun. Let's see. The chest is still there. Is it a slow, a slow despawn? I, I don't know. It might be one of those where it only despawns when it's like off camera, or it's like based on time, or it's straight up not working. I, I don't know. Our drones. Our beautiful bouncing drones. No, maybe the mod just ain't working. I don't know. I I was not exactly particularly thorough when installing them. We can double check. Uh, we can double check. Between, uh, between runs-ish. That's a lot of champs. That's a lot of hurt. You should bail. Bail. 
probably go find items. I was hoping we'd find more. I guess I can go check out that section. Yeah, because that chest hasn't disappeared yet. But maybe it, maybe it is on a timer. Maybe, maybe it's based on proximity. Or maybe it's busted. Okay, I don't actually see anything up here. Yeah, those little little ones are still there. So, I'm betting it's I'm betting it's actually not not functioning. Shame. Okay. Only got a little bit left, and I think I'll just uh I'll just head on to the the portal. If let's see. Ah. None of my immediate usuals are on. It's like, I want to see if we can mess around with multiplayer. I... Because I wouldn't mind doing, like, maybe an easier... Easier run? No. Eh, probably just normal runs or something. I really want to get up to, to that uh, 20 wave run, if possible. Because I think that could be incredible. BFG. See, so you're on. That's a good point. Uh, we'll give it a little bit. I'll, I'll do this solo run before I start uh, getting wandering eyes at the very least. I'm gonna drop drones on his face. Okay, what do we got here? I'm gonna gra grab this. It's probably not a, not actually fiscally wise, but whatever. I don't actually. Wait, no. Doesn't sprint distance increase the uh, increase the distance at which point at which I can like use that? I think that's how it's supposed to work. I could be wrong. Nope. Yeah, we definitely want uh, we definitely want to find the uh, the spare mags if I can get those. Okay. I'm not seeing a whole lot of other chests around here, so we're just gonna bail. 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 I saw a bird. Kill it. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, I gotta remember to look for the orange particles. I'm really bad at spotting those, admittedly. Okay. Yeah, luckily we've got enough, like, base regen here that we can kind of just... We can kind of just scoot through everything. Okay, there he is. We. You don't threaten me yet, Stone Titan. I will probably regret that option. Or my cavalier attitude, I guess, is the real answer. But that's okay. Get them drones. You magical creatures. Yeah, and once we get some hapu feathers, some cooldown reduction, or the, like the spare mags, then I can start spinning to win forever. I remember doing a couple of runs back in uh, Risk of Rain 1, where you just stack like uh, hapu feathers and like. I think it was like cooldown reduction or something like that. You could, you really could actually spin forever as long as you had like, as long as you had one or two. Ugh. I know Rose Buckler is actually pretty good, especially if I roll uh, Huntress. Actually, I'm not sure. It might actually be incredible because I'm, I might be considered perma, perma sprinting, considering this mod. This guy sucks. Ow. There you go. He came to Earth, and now he dies. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I kind of hope we end up on the uh, the red zone first, actually. I'm just gonna pop that. There's like one more guy, but like, meh. Oh! That speeds this whole business up. That's kind of nice. And yeah, I've just got like a whole bunch of money to start with, so I can just buy whatever. Hmm. The money scaling might not be as good as I thought, though. Pro 
surprise. You thought you were rid of me. This is a lie. So the other thing I kind of appreciate, and admittedly, I think that's more or less how it works on this game, but you just pretty much just trigger... Do we grab... Yeah, let's grab Radar Scanner. It's going to save me a lot of time here. Admittedly, this whole business out here is kind of meaningless. Whoops. Into the drink I go. Into the drink I go a second time. Got to stop doing that. Okay, so what do we got? Is a shrine here? Yeah, so I'm going to be a lower level than I'd normally be at this point. I It'd be interesting to do to, uh, runs with this, this setting on and off and actually see, like, yeah, how much EXP is that money actually bringing me? Yeah, Wicked Ring and Lensmaker's glasses let you hold down Whirlwind and spin as long as you you were hitting something. Yeah. Those runs were fun. Most things didn't live long enough, but every once in a while you run into like a magma worm. That wouldn't kill you. In what setting? I got mods. Oh wow. Already? Heck yeah. Ho ho! Oh, that's that's a good one. So, uh, brilliant behemoth right off the bat. I do not get this sucker nearly as much as I'd like, but uh, that is a satisfying item to get my hands on. Okay, I'm just gonna run away. Dude, shooting at me is annoying. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of items back here that we want to grab real quick. More movement speed would be a serious boon. Because it's extra important. Uh, let's see. Nah. It's extra important that we uh, clear distance and grab items faster. Considering I have all this extra starting currency. Fireworks are appreciated. Go to... I'm looking for a red whip if I can get one. Okay. Next side of items. We've got those 3D printers. There's actually very little left. It's just these two items. It's just a drone. I'm just gonna skip the drone. And a war banner. Alright. I think that's pretty much it. Let's just get out of here. It's good doodle. What is that? Oh, right. That's the uh, drone support. I like drone support, but speed is... Speed is survival. Ish. Okay, beetle queen. Time to get exploded. I'm just going to be here stabbing away. You're a tanky sucker. So there's another mod that I might consider putting on. I don't know if it would be wise. But there's actually one that lets you uh, make the game kind of pretend that you have more players than you do. So if I wanted to, I could actually set it so that I'm uh, the game scales as though I had four people. Oh, right. Wow, that is really annoying. <laughs> you might be wondering why that happened. Uh, well, there's a there's a good reason for it. Apu feather. I got another mod where enemies can have items on them. Which is kind of awesome. It it might be straight up like deadly later on. Uh, but they have, they can have items on them, and they can, uh, they have a chance of dropping them, too. Okay, there we go. Gotta stay within. Yeah, I gotta focus on 
I gotta focus on those guys, because they are punchy. That's a lot of... That's a lot of Beetle Knights. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really appreciate being, uh... I don't really appreciate being, uh... Smacked around or shot like that. That's okay. It's working. We've got a blue portal, but for the life of me, no, we should probably go. We should probably go. That burn damage hurts. Excuse me, you are the last survivor. Let's go through the blue portal. There might be a red item that's worth getting my hands on. Okay. Yeah, except for the exploding behemoth, most of the items that I currently have aren't actually that amazing, so I could I could trade them out. Do I care for those that's like the head stomper. We could also get an infusion. I'll get an infusion. Looks like I lost a lot of my speed for it, but Maybe worth it? Oh, taking blue portals counts for 20 stages. That is actually quite helpful. Okay, so we definitely need speed speed stuff. I just uh, sacked mine. Luckily, I'm in perma sprint. You still get EXP. You're level 5 at the start, now I'm level 8. Uh, the real question is... Uh, I, I know I still get EXP. It's the question of... How much EXP would have I gotten had I gone with, uh, if I didn't get to keep my money between stages? Okay, there we go. Because, yeah, ooh, eh, there's goat hooves, but I don't want to give up my soldier serums. I don't see anything over there. So yeah, I'm still gaining EXP. That that wasn't the question. It really is just like because normally, uh, normally when you leave a stage, all of your all of your money gets converted over into. Uh... Oh right, I've got this. What am I doing? Just looking for stuff. Normally, all of your money gets converted into EXP, but yeah, since I, I've modded it, I just get to keep it. It sounds like it would keep, uh, speed the game up. It's speeding it up a little bit. It means I don't have to sit around waiting for enemy spawns to just immediately start grabbing items. I'm not entirely sold on it, but I think it's also I'm, uh, I'm playing stages in random order. Grab that. At least the uh, the random order mod, I think I might turn off. Because the problem is, uh, chests don't scale right? Maybe they do. But we'll, we'll see. Either way, like, some of these mods are making some at least, like, major quality of life improvements as far as I'm concerned. And I'm excited to see what else we get. Oh, that was squandered. Ooh, another infusion. Heck yeah. Okay. We. I'm just gonna let that turret go. Okay, there's there's the uh, the teleporter. But do we have anything interesting out here before I go? One of those guys is healing themselves. Oh yes, soda. Because yeah, I'm in perma sprint mode as well, which is gonna save my fingers. Because all I have to do is just toggle it on. Okay, I'm just going to go check everything down in the dell. Over here, and then we're just going to hit it. I don't think I remember seeing anything useful. I think it was mostly just 
small bits, but I'll check anyway, just in case. Combat shrine and what looks to be a drone. Okay, pop the drone. Muck up this stone golem. I don't know. I seem to be kind of rolling things right now, which is pretty satisfying. Ow. You shit's hurt, though. Okay. Might be time to bail. Yeah, let's go hit the teleporter. Those guys are worth fighting, but they're not worth fighting that much. Oh, did I... Well, there's a Healy drone. I guess I'll grab the Healy drone. I've got enough money that I can afford it. Without it being a financial setback. Uh... Oh, shoot! Good thing I double-checked. There's a chest over here I missed. That'd be nice. I don't actually have a whole lot of healing on this build, now that I'm looking at it. Do I have any? No, actually, I think that's the first healing item I've got. Stone Titan. There you are. Yeah, I might have to give this a go on Monsoon difficulty. Uh, maybe. Okay, Predatory Instincts. Kind of nice. Not, like, the most amazing. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't really know which items scale really well on the Merc. I know usually you want stuff like, uh, spare mags and stuff, so you can just kind of keep spinning to win. Another Hapu Feather and I could potentially stay up there forever, which would be amazing. Stop shooting at me. I got other shit to do. Well, actually, not really. I mean, technically, this is just going to be a shooting gallery for me forever. And that exploding behemoth is so satisfying, I made him invisible. Alright, I, I really dig... I really dig, uh... I really dig Merc. I think I got... I've gotten really lucky with that exploding be behemoth, though. Let's keep going. I could keep killing things, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, you're doing Monsoon, and it feels right. I... I actually haven't tried Monsoon solo, now that I'm thinking about it. I've only done Monsoon, uh, uh... Monsoon. I've only done Monsoon multiplayer so far. Okay. What do we got? A lot of things I can immediately just start spitting fireworks with, which is nice. Will-O-Wisp. Haven't done Monsoon yet, you're modding. I did Monsoon with, uh... I, I did Monsoon in multiplayer, but I haven't done it solo yet. Uh, mainly because I keep trying out new characters. Whenever I try a new character, I don't want to do immediately jump into Monsoon. Uh, however, this is the last new character. I've played all of the other ones. So I'll, I probably will be switching up to Monsoon after this. It just was like, I don't want to throw myself into something wholly unfamiliar. Because that would just be an inconvenience and not end well. Because I don't like having short runs. I'd, I'd rather have like longish runs. Yeah, they might be a little easier, but still. Okay, what do we get? Eh, sticky bomb. We get more fireworks! We look like a butterfly, stab like a sword. That's what I've got. Okay, anything? Nothing. Oh, ah! Please stop that! I love the enemies get to use items mod. That is going to make things kind of exciting for a while. 
It's probably going to screw me over more often than not. But it's going to be funny when... Uh, oh god, I wonder if somebody's going to get a BFG. That's not even a wonder. That's that's probably an absolute guarantee we're going to end up with an enemy with a BFG and it's going to smoke me. And it's going to be hilarious. Uh, let's see, do we want bleed? Let's actually grab the war banner. Okay. War banner. Soldier syringe. If we remember right, attack speed increases the amount of uh, hits we get with our, our skill. Maybe multiple of my skills? I'm not entirely sure. Oh. You know, I just realized the stomp on this guy actually might be super viable. I wasn't really thinking about it. Usually I, I don't use the stomp because I prefer to go fast, but... Or go fast. I, I prefer to have that jump height. Okay, so we've got two, maybe three items here, and then we can go hit the teleporter. It is so much faster with this, uh, with just keeping money. And I generally make enough from the, uh, final wave to carry over into the next run. Without bankrupting myself. Okay, what do we get? Eh, buckler. I mean, actually, in retrospect, buckler is damn good for, for this kind of run. Wow. Tough bugger. Okay, do we got anything else here? We got the vent. We've got whatever's way up there, but like, meh. Let's just hit the teleporter and go. Whatever it is, it's gonna be expensive and I can't even, I can't even fund it. Just like that big drone. I mean, I could, but. Now here's the question. Is the Imp Overlord distracted by, by, by my drones, as usual? Looks like it. I wish he was not like that. Because it is an inconvenience, and I hate him. Wow. I am... I am just a massive special effects... Yeah, those guys hurt a little bit more than I was expecting they would. Is he just... Is he just out there trying to kill my drone? I think he is. Also, is this like the highest amount of damage I think I've ever done on a character? Go figure people like the Merc. I mean... I kind of knew I would probably like him. But, uh, sh get some sunglasses, folks. This is going to be a bloomy-ass run. Took you long enough to get here. Done bullying my dudes? Ow. Kind of hope we can get some more uh, will o wisps here. Oh. Dang it. I'm getting grab trapped again. Okay, should probably back off for a moment. Just gonna let some of these things go and let the iframes just carry me, carry me home. Yeah, because I don't do a whole whole lot of extra damage to the Imp Overlord. But I can chain reaction just m murder everything else. There we go. Get out of here. No one liked you anyway. Let's see, is that another infusion for me? Why, thank you. Yeah, there's more enemies, but I don't care. Onwards! Let's see, you have the mod loader, just need to get the mods list when you can. Uh, if you're on Discord, the, the whole mod pack is actually in minion bots right now.
yeah, I'm definitely turning off the randomized levels, though. As cool as it is, uh, it screws you out of a fair amount of loot. Because that, uh, that fourth level has an insane amount of chests. And losing that is, is tough. Not actually that big of a deal. I seem to be doing fine. But not something I want to lose, generally. What is that? Sunglasses? They're good. I've got a couple. I just don't want to lose my soldier serum to it. Now, if it was soldier serums, I could consider just destroying all of my all of my stuff for nothing but serums. Just become maximum. Sp I'm assuming it's spin to win, but I'm I'm not actually sure what the full benefit list is. Did I just, like, miss four items over here? Really? Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't miss anything important. We Fuel cells would be the other thing I'd trade for. It'd be pretty fun to get enough fuel cells that you can just spam cast the BFG someday. As it turns out, you already had all of them. Well then. I think Shell's getting her butt kicked in. Hard games. Oh, the game froze. Yeah, we recently got keys for Faria. And, uh... So Shell's been, I guess, pre-gaming it. At some point, we're gonna play together. Maybe tonight, maybe in a day or two. Kind of depends on that poll. Uh... But it looks like it's a wee bit on the unstable side, or our internet is just too garbage for it. <laughs> wow, those fireworks are destroying. Please stop that. Please stop that. That thing is going to be the death of me. That grav trap is brutal. Okay. I'm gonna pop both of those. I don't see anything else here. And not much left. Looks like a lot of the items are over here on the left. We're just not spawning at all. Hey, more backup mags. Right, backup mags, not spare mags. It's going to take forever for me to get that difference down in my head. Uh, mobs having gravity ball on maps with explosive barrels is death it seems. Oh, did you get did you get toasted by that? That probably would be deadly, yeah. Okay, I think we're good. There's like maybe a couple more things, but I I don't remember it, any of it being good. Dude, wow. You don't take any damage. Alright, bailing. I'll fight him later. There's something like right here-ish. Yeah? No? Alright. What's up, Beetle Queens? Yeah, definitely need some more backup mags here. Because being able to just like kind of chain the chain those spin to wins is gonna make me extremely dangerous. Did I just kill them both? I just killed them both. A hey, Will O Wisp. Okay, what else do we got? We have foes! Very tanky foes. It's weird. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing like a billion damage, and other times I feel like I do nothing. I guess it's just kind of always how like Risk of Rain has worked. The the damage scaling feeling is just like the most erratic business. Yeah. Yeah. Owie. Crits also probably make a massive difference as well. Okay, now I did say I was gonna fight him later. Is 
so beef chunk. I don't like it. Oh. And he's dead. Never mind. I guess it's fine. Okay. Things I could really use on this. Ukulele would probably be pretty satisfying. I'm noticing my basic attacks is actually pretty good at just clearing these guys out too. I was expecting it would be much weaker at this point. Uh, let's see. Is the chef in the game yet? Nope. No chef. Or will-o'-wisps. Ooh. Now that would be that would be one to trade all my trade all my greens for. It's just like endless stacks of will-o'-wisps for extra kabloom. I don't think we even have a whole lot of like really powerful greens yet. I like the ATG missiles kind of nice. I wonder if you lose the infusion effect. Okay, I'm just going to keep stacking war banners. Tougher times might be the better option, but big war banners make me happy. Okay, I guess I'm going to do the circuit. Can trade down to one infusion without losing health, but if you lose the last one, you lose all the health. Oh, good to know. Okay, we get fuel cell. Not amazing on this item, but that's just because. I mean, it's it's just the radar scanner. At the same time, eh, that's actually kind of good. Means I can scan more often. We. I really do enjoy this perma sprint mod. I think, like, of all of the mods I've got going on, maybe the car money carryover one. Uh, or effect. Wow. This is not forthcoming. Six tries and it gave me bupkis. Wow. I actually have to leave. It did give me a whole bunch of, uh, fireworks though, so I, I can, I can, I can see it still being, like, useful. More fireworks. What is that? Bleed? Bleed damage is okay. Yeah, if I could manually choose what to give up, I'd, I'd be a little bit more likely to. Because, yeah, I don't need as many, uh... Maybe monster necklaces? I don't know. No, I'm actually pretty happy with what I'm rolling. Let me guess. Armor-piercing bullets, armor-piercing bullets, or... Let's get the, uh, the explosives. Okay, here's where the goodies are hiding. I was wondering where all the chests were. Good stuff. Probably should have gotten that rusted key a long time ago. Now that I'm thinking about it with the radar scanner. I can actually figure out where everything is pretty quick. Oh, that's fine. Monster teeth. Let's see, is there a mod for that? Manual choice on items to discard. Not that I know of, unfortunately. That would be that would be an insta download if that was actually a mod that I could get. Okay, I think we're good. Let's just hit the teleporter, keep going. Gotta go fast. I I think I'm absolutely going to keep the the money between runs. Or runs between uh levels. Oh, it's an overloading greater wit. Not what I was expecting here. Not necessarily a problem. But not what I was expecting. Oh boy, there's a lot of hit scan. Okay, it's not quite hit scan. 
At least we've got several Will-O-Wisps here. Which makes this a little easier. I'm pretty sure, yep, that's the boss. Oh boy, oh boy, want nothing to do with that for a second. Give me your healing items, you jerk. Nope. Yeah, supposedly... Supposedly, uh, one of my mods is supposed to make it so enemies drop, uh... Enemies drop items, but the drop rate seems to be really freaking low. It might be, uh... I don't know, I'll have to ask Cryoris about it if he's around. It might be streaming right now, though. Okay. You are the boss, and you are a tanky sucker. Ripes, did he heal the full? He did. Probably got to get rid of this guy. Yeah. That's still the overloading Greater Wisp? It is. And it is dead. It just needed a couple of good crits to take it out. I'm doing fairly well on that that whole crit situation. I wonder if you can get like red crits in this game, uh like Warframe style. Probably not. It'd be cool if your your crit rating could go over 100 percent and would have like a bonus. 5% shot chance to drop items if they have an items. Not all have items. Yeah, I so I I downloaded, uh, I downloaded the mod and then I actually slapped on a config file that uh, my buddy Cryoris made, and one of my moderators and another streamer. And uh, it looks like he nerfed the drop rate substantially. Because I don't know if I've actually gained any items from an enemy drop yet. Maybe I have? Maybe I just haven't been paying attention? It hasn't seemed to matter, but... You know... I just want to become obscene, always. I, honestly, loot distribution hasn't been an issue so far, so... I guess I really don't need to fight that guy right now. Okay, what do we got here? More war banner? Always more war banner. Now all I need is... Maybe that dagger? Yeah, I... I need the ceremonial dagger. Getting my hands on that is always super satisfying. Okay, how do we get out of here? This. Oh, hey. We... Oops. That's actually too much jump height. We... Yeah, that is satisfying. More will o -wisps, please. They're insanely fun to roll with. Okay, what is this? Turret? I'll just grab it. I guess I didn't grab it. Whatever. Loads of items over here, maybe? More healing drones, it looks like. At least I can pretty much just run, grab items, and the uh, fireworks just kill everything for me. Man, I will admit though, the uh, the loot in this immediate area is not looking fancy. Ooh, shrine of the mountain. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Holy crap, fireworks! I've only got four of them too yet. They're deadly. Oh, for a second I thought we had a second shrine of the mountain just hanging out and I was like, yes. There's the red whip. Okay. Hey, do I have any difficulty mods on right now? Nope. Okay, we are quailing 
maybe too hard now. Okay, I see a couple of things, maybe? I don't actually think there's anything useful at this point. I think we've pretty much already seen it all. Dang. Kind of disappointing. Okay, so... Shrine's here, shrine's here! We. Oh boy. It's a blazing wandering vagrant. A favorite. Oh right. I can just get on top of them. If I can Oh, I'm I'm on top of it. Okay. Let's not do that. Alright. Just gonna hang it over here. Wow, that has got insane range. Okay, just gonna wait for my Gibbs to come back a little bit. Never mind. I don't think that hit me. Okay, one down, significantly less threat. Oh, and this is the blazing one. The previous one was just a was just a regular old wandering vagrant. Pain. Ow. Yeah, bailing. Bailing hard. I don't have anything fancy like a leeching seed. Okay. I'm just gonna keep my distance for a while. Are these... Well, there's at least an item here. That I haven't grabbed yet. Okay, so where's where's the Vagrant? Vagrant who's it's? I'm back! Okay. Cripes. That, just being near that thing hurts. Let's see, do we have... Man, we don't even have any, uh... We don't even have any, uh... Healing drugs anymore. Or bustling fungus or, like, half of my usual go-to healing items. Wow. Gotta be kind of careful here. It is all just champion enemies. Ow! Wow! Jeez. It seems like every enemy here is a champ, too. Ow. Still dying. They're not letting up. Okay, I'm gonna just run further. She's doing a little bit better. Let's go back and hit the Vagrant again. I did a whole bunch of damage to him earlier, and then I got crushed into, into the ground. Well, that was a good crit. It really doesn't seem to... Uh, Want me to spin to win him at all? Hide over here for a second. Let the HP roll back in. I guess it is letting me spin to win him. Okay, let's see if I can. Nope. 
Really hoping I could just pop a couple of these guys. Shit. I'm not built for this. Apparently. Ow. I honestly thought I was in a terrific position here, but maybe part of it is just like the sheer prevalence of... Where's the boss? There's the boss. Nope! Oh! Wow! Death! Death came! He set me on fire. Yeah, it would have been a good run, but, uh... Enemies... Uh, well, I mean, honestly, he was a tough one. Ugh. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna turn Meander off. I, I think I get less items that way. Let's do another run. I think I'm gonna do Huntress. So start with money. Money is kept between stages. Do we turn anything off? 